Good morning from my first full day in Montreal. Today I'm going to go on a food tour of all the cool urban foods that Montreal has to offer and then later I've got a lot of free time for once. I'm gonna be exploring a little bit, seeing the shopping center, seeing what I can do, and then I think we might have a drag show this evening. Let's head out. It's like a big red combine harvester except for snow. This is currently the level of ice that's like on the pavement. This giant brick here and here's the actual pavement. It's like a full boots with. Just so much snow in this city. I don't know how they function. I don't know how, look at this pretty building. I don't know how they're able to function like so well with so much freaking snow. All right, we're gonna cross this way. Also, I love how quiet it feels. I guess everyone's just staying inside because you know, it's snowy. All right, so I've now made it to my bus shelter because I've got to take a bus all the way up to the Mile End District, which is a nice area full of food and stuff. It is crazy. I just can't believe it's still snowing despite all the snow. My god, wasn't my... You know what? I think they've dealt with enough snow at this point. Let's give them a break. Nope. I think that's my bus down the road a bit. Got a little ticket. Public transport. Dabbing it up. Also, look at this bus shelter. It's just, uh... Even this thing's just covered in snow. There's nowhere you can hide from the snow. Also, I hope there's some Ravenclaws out there. Check out my scarf. Finally trying it out. Definitely need it today. Amazing. Merci. I made it on the bus. Got my ticket. Head to Mile End. Mile End. It's a good area in Montreal. Not necessarily a lot, but it's alright. <laughs> Starting the food tour off at the, uh, the Green Panther. It's like the Pink Panther, but vegan. This place used to be a bank, and the bathroom is literally the vault. Are you familiar with the term Mile End? Have you heard that before? Yes? It's an area of London that you don't want to go to. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Chocolate tasting is exactly like a uh, white tasting. Alright, so food tour concluded. I am now nice and full. Had a little white mushroom. It was a delicious, like, donut muffin thing that Montreal's known for. Had a lot of food. I'm very, like I said, I'm very full right now. At this point, I'm gonna try and find my way through this snowy weather to get to the mall, just to walk around, do some shopping indoors. That's interesting. Oh yeah. Alright, finally. I've been in Canada for a week. Time to get some Timmy's. We out here getting maple glazed donuts. That is one big mall. Oh boy. Canada really knows how to do a mall, man. They, they go all out here. This place is just so big. Wow. Ooh, so after walking around quite a lot in the downtown area and checking out all the malls, it was pretty nice. I had a nice little relaxing two hours just catching up on some YouTube videos in my sub box, doing some little German, little Spanish, you know, just doing, doing the dailies. And now, it's time for me to head to dinner in a nice place nearby. Taverne Gaspar, which sounds like the Gaspar Tavern, like if it was a French Skyrim Pub. Either way, head there now, and then like I said, we're going to a drag show today. I've never been to one of those, so excited to see how that is. So now I've got the duck poutine. Oh my gosh, that is, that is insane. If you guys don't know, it's basically fries covered in gravy and duck. What the heck is this walkway? Look at this alley. It's like, got some lights from the top, and they're all swishing around there. It's pretty cool. So every hour on the hour, this bridge will have some cool design based on hashtags in the social media. Good job, Montreal. Here we have the Olympic Stadium from 1976. Some history here. It's a spaceship. Honestly, it looks like Halo. Like, it just looks like the Halo from Halo. You know Halo? Yeah, it looks like we're in, like, Siberia underneath this crazy, crazy spaceship. You can also see just, like, gas and air coming off of it and like snow from the building just kind of wisping around. It's so weird. It does look so much like a spaceship though. So we're currently at an art exhibition in the gay village and all the art is just like ship posts and weird vaporwave. Look at this vaporwave stuff, man. I'm just kind of like, what? What? Cheeky. <laughs> But 
there's a wig for every possible day. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Do my best. Wow, I just can't imagine. Luke, you need some of these, some of these wigs. Look at the detail. Honestly, this is like the latest I've gone to sleep since coming to Canada. I'm like so freaking pooped. Tomorrow I've got like a walking tour of old Montreal, which is going to be exciting to see. And then my flight back. So why don't we just skip into that? Well, it's now my last day in Montreal, and sadly, my walking coffee tour, a little tour of the cafes in old Montreal, canceled because, uh, the weather. It's not as bad as it was yesterday. Different tour, I don't know. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'm just gonna go to some cafes, walk around old Montreal. I'll show you what it looks like. So here I am walking through the hallway of my hotel to go towards checkout, to go to old Montreal, like I just said. And in my head, I'm like, I really am so upset I lost my glove yesterday. Don't know what happened, but somehow in between getting in to the hotel and into my room, it went missing. I asked the front desk, where's this glove? Where's it gonna be? Uh, it turns out no one returned it. Why would someone keep a glove? I don't know. My way out. My way out. It was right here. Right? Did someone do that? Did I do that? Good thing I had my eyes open. Good day! We have not lost a glove after all. I glove it when things turn out in my way. Look at this cool boutique shop. Like, it's so weird. Alright, so you guys wanted a self-guided tour of old Montreal? Let's begin. Here is old Montreal. Montreal, and that building looks really old. A nice cafe. This is one of the oldest in all of old Montreal. A and W, or in French, A <laughs> New Montreal? Old Montreal. That building right there looks like the building from Ghostbusters that, you know, the Mr. Jet Puff was on. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? Ambiguous Montreal facts. Back in this maple store, and I've just realized they have maple syrup salad dressing and uh, maple mustard so if you guys are ever interested in maple mustard there you go all right it's lunch time i'm at the intersection of rue saint pierre and rue saint paulo it's time to go to a place with all of uncle Mambo. Right, so it turned out that cafe was actually so full the wait was like a half hour so i just grabbed a coffee and headed out at this point it's kind of like my last day in montreal i don't want to do too much i feel like i always uh, bite off more than i can chew so i'm just gonna go shopping Go shopping at Walmart. Why not? They have Walmarts in Montreal, so I'm gonna check one of those out before I head to the airport. Let's just drive away. Welcome to Walmart Super Citre. It's just so big, and yet so strangely also French. I'm not used to this. Walmart in Canada only has one flavor of Oreo, so um, I'm just, I'm perplexed. I want more, Rio. All right, I'm back in my snowy car. You know, that is probably one of the first times I've ever gone to Walmart and not bought anything. I think it's just because this is a different country. It's a different Walmart. And dang, it just keeps snowing. My, I was in there for like half hour. What is going on? Now I remember why I'm always late to the airport. Being late to the airport is always way better than being early. 100% just had to sit for like two hours, rather just stand around waiting to be allowed to check in. Now that I've checked in, my suitcase is gone. Whew. Let's head through departures. Currently just watching the Super Bowl in an airport. Sorry, that's me. Yeah, I have glasses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that woman didn't actually believe it was me in my passport photo. She was like, you need a new photo. <laughs> Thanks. It's like seven years old. I guess I do have to get a new one in three years, but I do get the British one next year. Back for me. I'm so excited to sleep. I've got a melatonin on me. I'm gonna probably watch a film while I eat the dinner and then I am out. Oh my, I'm so spent. It's quite an efficient process here, Come to Papa. Oh boy. Let's go home. Oh gosh, that red eye. Let's go home. Oh, and at long last, I am back in London in my bed. I missed it so much. You know, it's seven degrees right now and a bit, uh, a bit moist. 
it's great. It doesn't feel that cold at all. I now have more of an appreciation for the weather I live in because it's not that cold really. And if it ever gets down to zero again, I'm going to be like, well, I lived through negative 20 and I enjoyed it. So thank you very much for enjoying my old trip to the Quebec province. It was a really great time. Thank you very much to the tourism board for helping me out on this trip so much because I don't know, it, the, everyone I met on this trip was really lovely. Uh, everything that I did was so cool and such a good memory to have. Uh, and so, yeah, I just really enjoyed it and uh, hope to go back soon. Montremblant, I really want to go skiing again. I should be doing a lot more trips in 2019, but please tell me uh, below your genuine thoughts on this whole Canada series, uh, my new vlogging style. If you like, I spend a lot more time editing than I usually do in the past year, trying to up the quality just because I like it more. But yeah, tell me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.